One of the most common lure types that we get asked about as far as how to mold and cast is a bulldog style bait. These are used primarily by musky fishermen and consist primarily of soft plastic with a weighted infrastructure to help it sink and glide. The easiest way to make one of these style of baits is to simplify it by dividing it into two parts. One the tail and two the body. By making two one piece molds you can use a lot less silicone, simplify the process, cutting the cost down by using less material, and then having the versatility of using different tails. Here you can see we've made two one-piece molds, one of the body and one of the tail. We use less than two pounds of silicone for making both of these molds. We first pour the tail, allow that to cool, insert that into the body mold, insert our weight and our hook, and then go ahead and pour it. This entire lure used less than 105 grams worth of soft plastic. This equals approximately a dollar in cost of soft plastic. Your investment comes in the silicone making the molds, but by using different molds for the tail and the body, it gives you the versatility to add different tail designs and keep the same body without having to recreate the molds for the entire lure. Here you can see different tail designs that fit the exact same lure. Here's a paddle tail, a split fin, as well as a twin tail. All these give the lure completely different action by using the same body mold. Let me walk you through the process of how we sculpted, molded, and cast these. And then we'll show you some more footage of in the water what these lures look like. Polymeric clays stay flexible until you bake them. Here we're time lapsing some of the sculpting uh, to cut down on the amount of time that it's going to take to show you how we designed it. You do not have to be an excellent sculptor to create your own lures. I have very little artistic ability and yet I was able to create a bait that looks exactly what I wanted it to. I wanted a bulldog style bait that looked a little bit more like a sucker than the generic shape that a bulldog has. So I used a bulldog as a basic size reference and simply started sculpting. Added some fins, added some details and continued to smooth it out until I got the basic shape. Then I rolled out some more Sculpey 3 and started cutting the tail design. I measured the thickness of the tail on the body and then started that same thickness in the tail design. So when I put the two together, they'll line up and have a smooth transition. Once you've sculpted your lure design the way you want it and you're comfortable with it, go ahead and bake it per the instructions on the Sculpey package. This takes about 15 to 20 minutes at 275. Pull it out, let it cool, and now you're ready to sand it. It is fairly fragile so you have to be careful that you're not going to break it or chip it. If you do break something, simply glue it back into place and begin cleaning it up with sandpaper. This will remove all the imperfections, fingerprints, and indentations that were in your clay. Here I started with some 100 grit, then went to 220 and finished it with some 400. Now you're ready to construct a mold box, seal it, and mix up your silicone rubber. Here we're using some high strength 2 silicone rubber. It's got an extremely high tear strength and it's really low viscosity so it picks up all the detail of your original. Mix it up in a 10 to 1 by weight ratio mix it thoroughly and pour it into your mold boxes. Allow it to cure overnight, remove the mold box and base, and then scrape any of the silicone that flowed underneath your originals off with a putty knife or a dull knife. 
it's much easier to do this before taking the lure out and it'll give you a lot cleaner edge. Once you've scraped the silicone that flowed underneath the part off, go ahead and remove your original. We're now cutting the wedge off the tail so we can insert the tail designs. Now we have our two one-piece molds and we're ready to start pouring them. Before we pour it, we need to cut a slot for the hook to fit. Here we're using one of Patrick Sabil's swim bait rigs. It's an oversized wide gap hook with a weight on it. And it's also got a ring to attach a swivel in a belly treble hook. Now we're ready to mix up our Alumisol, pour it into the tail mold, and allow that to cool. Once the tail cools, we'll remove it from the mold and set it inside of the body mold. You can make this as short or as long as you want, but you definitely want to have some overhang into the body mold. So when you pour the Illumisol into the body mold, it will completely encapsulate that tail and fuse it, becoming one piece. Once you've filled the mold, allow it to cool and remove the finish lure. Here we've time-lapsed a video showing how we're bringing it to life by adding some Aluma dust. Using a torch, we lock in the Illumidus into the surface. Add our treble hook to the bottom, and we're ready to go out and fish it. Here's some other tail designs that we had poured using the same process by inserting these tails into the back of the body mold we can create completely different baits using the same mold. These will have completely different action and work in completely different circumstances and utilize the exact same mold. So this is just a very simple and economic way of making your own bulldog style of baits. The other big benefit of this is that you can reuse and remelt and recycle all of your old baits. Simply use the same hardware that's in your baits, tear the plastic off and remelt it, insert the hardware into your mold and re-pour them over and over and over again. If you have any specific questions that aren't answered in this video, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call us. We'd be more than happy to help.